Hello, this is Jeff from Jack's Small Engines. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a real quick, easy, just oil change and a quick check over the air filter. First thing I always like to start with is I've changed this. Take this, just take a regular one quart oil container, cut it out, makes a nice little funnel to try to keep a lot of the engine oil from making a mess all over your nice tractor. Start with breaking the oil filter loose, which should be only hand tight. After you get it loose, get your bucket in there and take your oil filter off. Let all the oil drain out of it. Once you've got all most of the oil out of there, take the drain out, install your new oil filter, making sure to lubricate the gasket, just put a little thin layer of oil on the gasket itself, install the oil filter, just hand snug it on there, and then you're ready to go ahead and move on to draining the engine oil out of the engine itself. Alright, and on this particular engine here, I've got a nice little drain that you can actually use. Now, depending on your application, you may or may not have this drain. You might have to take off a bolt or a different, basically, that might have a tube or whatever your application may be. This one has a nice simple tube. Disconnect it from the top, pull it down, and just unscrew the cap. Pop the cap off and let the engine oil drain out. And after you've got all the engine oil drained out, the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and remove your dipstick, clean off any excess oil you've got laying on there. Top it off with this specific engine here, we've got the Briggs and Stratton, so you're going to go with a 30 weight oil. And it doesn't have to be Briggs and Stratton, but it could be any 30 weight oil. Go ahead and open it up. And most of the engines that you'll find, most of them will hold about one and a half to two quarts. But you want to add it for a little while and keep checking it when you get about a quart and a half in it. You want to definitely start to check the engine oil, see what you got left in there. Once you're done topping it off, recheck the engine oil. We're good right there. On this particular one, you got the two line, just the two dots from back to back. Make sure you do not fill it past the second line. And on this particular one, you'll turn it, install the engine cap, the oil cap, so it clicks down once. Do not tighten it, and then check it. Make sure you're right where you want to be. And keep in mind, on a fresh oil change, you're going to have the second, when you first start it up, you're going to want to shut it off and recheck it after the oil cycle through the oil filter itself. So it may be a little bit low. And then while you're here, all you want to do is take a look at the air filter itself. On this particular one, it's very simple. Pull these two pins out the top right here. Lift off the air filter shroud. And just grab the air filter and pull it up. Some you may find that you have an oil filter or you can have a regular one like this. It's just a disposable. It's a pre-filter and then the actual filter itself right inside. Once you get your new one, put it back and install your pre-filter over top. Snap it down. Reinstall your cover. Retighten it down. And that takes care of your tune up, basically a little bit of an oil change and the air filter itself. All right, after you've added all your oil and you've got your oil filter on and you start it, let it run for a couple minutes, let it get up to operating temperature. Just make sure you've got no leaks, nothing, anything like that, and you're good to go. Now in this application, this is a Briggs engine, so we went with a 30 weight oil. Now if you have a Kawasaki or a Honda or even a Kohler, depending on what model engine you have, either manufacturer, you may use a 1030, you may use a 30, it just depends. So prior to filling it up with oil and everything else, just check your owner's manual. They should tell you whether you're going to use a 1030 or a 30 or what oil engine you're going to need. So uh, just make sure you take that into account and just don't fill up with 30 weight oil. Um, 
other than that, that's pretty much all you need to do uh, for a complete oil change. And that'd be it.